Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu just took the stage in a fiery, defiant speech going after the opposition and the media saying because they can't beat him at the ballot box, they're going to try to beat him at the courthouse. This rally here tonight was a show of support by the Likud party, but leave no doubt, this is an embattled Prime Minister. Benjamin Netanyahu has dominated Israeli politics for years. Only the founder of the state, David Ben-Gurion, has led the country for longer. But Israel's prime minister is in a fight, and it's getting serious. Police have been investigating him for months in what we now know are cases of suspected bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. He has been questioned as a suspect on four occasions. So what are the cases about? The first, Case 1000, involves allegations that Netanyahu received gifts, inappropriately, including cigars and champagne from overseas businessmen. The second case, 2000, involves allegations that Netanyahu agreed to a deal with the owner of a major Israeli newspaper, which would see the paper tone down its attacks on Netanyahu. In exchange, the prime minister would ensure a cut in the circulation of a rival paper. Last month, Netanyahu's former defense minister, Moshe Alon, who was removed from his post by the prime minister, gave this prediction to CNN of how it would end. By indictment, uh, that's my uh, uh, assessment and belief. Uh, too many issues are under investigations in questions. And I believe that at the end we'll witness indictment. And that was before the dramatic news that a former close ally of the prime minister was turning state's witness. Ari Haro, a one-time Netanyahu chief of staff, had cut a deal with prosecutors. He would plead guilty to entirely separate offenses and would avoid prison in exchange for telling investigators everything he knew about case 1000 and 2000. Netanyahu denies any wrongdoing. We flatly reject the false claims made against the prime minister, a spokesman told CNN. The campaign to replace this administration lies at its heart, but it's doomed to fail for the simple reason that there will be nothing because there was nothing. The prime minister himself took to Facebook, as he often does, to address Israelis. I do not pay attention to background noise, and I continue working for you. When the investigation concludes, the police will hand the matter over to the Attorney General. It'll be up to him to decide whether to follow any police recommendation to indict Netanyahu. That decision is likely months away, but any decision to bring criminal charges will make it politically difficult for the Prime Minister to stay in power. Ian Lee, CNN, Tel Aviv.